Just got here. Remember what I told you. I know, I know. No loud music, no parties, no boyfriends. <laughs> boyfriends are okay. <laughs> boyfriends are okay. Now that I don't have one. I'll keep that in mind. The key should be under the map. Cool. Oh, got it. You know, the girls are really gonna miss you this weekend. I wish you could go camping with us. Yeah, I'm bummed about it too. But hey, we'll still have the summer camp. Can't wait, sis. Oh, hey, my flight is boarding. I gotta go. Okay, have fun, be safe. Oh, and uh, one last thing. Watch out for ghosts. <laughs> very funny. Watch out for very tall buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. bye. Love you, freak. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm at Tina's. Come over. Cool. Oh, Nina, pick up some vodka on your way. Peach, of course. <laughs> okay, see you in a bit. Bye. Here I come!
I need it officially recorded on file. I'm gonna need you to come in here and let me tape you. No, telling me over the phone won't do me any good. Yes. Miss Ash, we're on the same side here, remember? Detective Thompson, there is a lady here to see you. He's back! Can you, can you look at me, please? What happened? It was... It was Cameron. Cameron Crow. Cameron, are you sure? He, he tried to attack me. He tried to kill me. Are you sure it was him? Yes. What happened? Please, calm down. Just tell me what happened. James, thank you for coming in early. No problem. This is Miss... Joyce Moscone. Yes, we've met before. So, Joyce, what is it this time? Unlike the time you said that your doors were opening and closing on their own, or unlike the time you said someone was coming in your house and blowing out the candles, it's called wind, Joyce. Try closing your windows and poof, your ghosts will magically disappear. Don't you think you're being a bit insensitive? She tragically lost her daughter in a school shooting two years ago. Ever since then, she's been conjuring up these experiences, none of which have ever panned out. Let's just check out her story. We've checked out every story. Last month, she said someone was following her. Postman named Henry Anderson delivering his round. She swore it was her daughter's killer. Kevin Crow. He's been dead for 18 months now. They picked him up in pieces with a shovel. Yes, I've read the case. Didn't he wait 14 or so years to take revenge on those two bullies from the elementary school he had a grudge against? So what are you saying? The report never included any solid evidence to prove that the remains in that factory were actually Cameron Crows. What I'm saying is, there might be a remote chance that he's still alive. And considering his track record for holding grudges, he may be back to settle the score with all those who were involved. Including you, James. She's just a kook. Well, I'm still gonna check out her story. You go ahead and do that. Just don't go sounding off any alarms yet. Even though Tina's off covering the LA earthquake, her sister Tammy's staying at her place until she gets back. And I don't want her panicking. So in the remote chance that you uncover something, you come to me first. Thank you. You guys, I can't believe Halloween is in a couple of days. I'm so excited. Ooh, look out for Michael Myers. The guy from Austin Powers? No, that would be Mike Myers. This is Michael Myers from the very famous Halloween movie franchise. Notwithstanding Halloween 3, which was a total disaster. But that's just my opinion. I hate scary movies. Which is unfortunate because they're the only ones worth watching. Mm, nah, I'll take a romantic comedy any day. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, remember the last time we all sat around like this? It was at Brianna's Valentine's Day party. 
and there was a killer running around town, killing everybody. Oh. Way to go, Bella. You always know, like, exactly when to choose your topics. Oh my god, I'm just saying. <laughs> Wait, what are you guys talking about? How long has it been since you moved here? Six months. And nobody told you? Told me what? There's this kid. He went to elementary school with us. He had a huge crush on Tina. I mean, huge crush. Anyway, there was these bullies. Jimmy Garcia and Emilio Sanchez. They beat him up so bad, right in front of her. It must have traumatized him so much that we never saw him ever, ever again. That's horrible. Now, fast forward 14 years, he goes back to our old elementary school, shoots the bullies, and in the process, he kills other children and a teacher. Ironically, when the freak came back, he got a job posing as a cameraman at Tina's TV station. He even worked side by side with her on the same school shooting. And get this, Jimmy and Emilio, he waits to the right moment and he slaughters them <laughs> and he left their bodies there to rot. Oh my God. God only knows who else he could have killed if it wasn't for Tina's detective work. Get this, she finds where he lives, breaks into his house, waits for the psycho to come back and stabs him with his own machete. I still don't understand how he escaped. After she stabbed him, she said he fell to the ground bleeding. But by the time the police got there to get his body, he was gone. You know what I think the creepiest part was? The only thing he took with him was his mask. That's creepy. So whatever happened to him? They found his body a few months later. It was burnt beyond recognition in some old factory in Chico. Wow, what a way to go. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Sure. I'm okay. <laughs> Sorry. Hello? Yes. Oh my gosh, is she okay? Can I speak to her? Okay, I'm on my way. Thank you. Okay guys, it's my mom. She's been in an accident and I really need to be there. I'm going with you. No, 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 no. You guys stay, enjoy the trip. Um, they said it's not that serious. She just needs me there, okay? Okay. I hope so too. Let one of us go oh, with you. I'm going okay. with you. Bree, I don't like this. Don't worry about it. I'll text you when I get there, okay? I'll be fine, okay? Okay. Alright, okay. Be safe. I will. I'll be fine. I'll Let be me know.
I would like to remind our viewers that we have Joyce Masconi exclusively on KBNC. She says that she has had first-hand contact with Cameron Crow, the same killer that plagued this town almost two years ago. Yes, uh, that's right. He attacked me on the playground. He tried to kill me, but something stopped him. Something, not someone? Well, if there was someone, I, I, I didn't see anyone. Every time he tried to get close to me, something blocked him. Fascinating. You should have been there. It was something out of a, a horror movie. Now, you've had face-to-face -face contact with this same suspect in the past, correct? Yeah, um, I mean, I guess you could say that. Um, it was a, a couple years ago, um, after the school incident, I accidentally hit him with my car, and when I went back to the car to call for help, he was gone. He just up and left. All that was left was this pool of blood right there on the street. Well, surely this story isn't over. What would you like to say to the citizens of Santa Carla? Beware out there, neighbors. Beware. He's back. Powerful words. Well, you heard it here first. I'm Anita Smith with KBNC in Santa Carla. Now back to you. Michelle, this is Detective Nicole Thompson. Any minute now, you're going to be receiving a lot of calls asking about a killer on the loose in our town. I want you to tell them we're on top of it. And if you get any leads, forward them to Officer Marshall. Damn it, Joyce! Ingenious. He chooses a victim similar to his build and height, burns him beyond recognition, then waits to return on Halloween no less wearing a mask. God, please help us with what terror you have planned for our town. Okay, I'll see you at 8 tonight and it'll pick up Lucas and Bella, yeah? Okay. Yay. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Ha <laughs> ha! 
everybody. Come on. No, it wasn't. On. <laughs> Just for that, you're driving yourself to the party. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Oh my gosh, oh gosh. I'm so glad I got this thing recorded. Dude, man, this thing is bound to go viral. Oh, Lucas, wake up, Lucas. <laughs> oh my god. I knew you guys were gonna change your mind. Whoa, big boy. Aren't you a little too big to be trick-or-treating? Man, look at you. You got the whole outfit on. You got the machete, the blue jumpsuit. What, are you supposed to be Jason's cousin? Dude, is that real? I think so.
Jumbo. Chip chop, chip chop. Come on, time is money. You... Nobody bullies my son and gets away with it. No way. They must all pay for their sins. You hear me? Maybe not today, tomorrow, or even next week. But someday, don't you ever forget it. I want you to make a mental image of who those two boys are and whoever wrongs you. And when good and ready, you do what you have to do, son. You do what you have to do. Are you listening? Someone needs to rid society of this evilness. Cause you sure as hell can't count on the public school system to do anything. <laughs> Not my son. Go on and eat. Eat, son. So you can grow to be big and strong. That's right. Eat. Come on, time is money. They're babies for you to eat down the street, out of the way. Come on, I don't have all fucking night. You should have just let him keep walking. Yeah, I should just let him keep walking. Hey, keep going, playboy. That's right, keep walking. Nice hoodie. Maybe some jujubes. Maybe you should buy him some candy. I can see you two are very close friends at this point. Oh, damn. Right, let's see. Ooh. This looks like a nice secluded spot for you. Should we get this show on the road? So what do you want? A CBJ, a BBBJ, half and half, or the full service? Baby, I want the whole menu. All of column A and most of column B. 300. 300? What happened to 80 bucks? Inflation! Do you want it or not? I, I just wanted to pay toll for the tunnel. I didn't want to buy the fucking thing. Fine. 300 bucks. Hear what? I heard something. It's nothing. It's a it's a goddamn cat. It's a hobo that's just waiting for the show. So just somebody out there. What now? Why are you stopping again? I don't like it. Go out and check. Go out and check. You mean right now? No, tomorrow. Great. You know what? You know what? Stop the fucking meter because I'm not paying for this. Maybe it's your sense of self-respect that's out there. Maybe, I don't know, I'll look. Find out what it was that was making the noise? 
I'm taking it to the back seat, are we? Probably be more comfortable back there anyways. Oh, shit! the neighbor's kid or something? Look, Tina's not here. I'm staying here until she gets back. So, if you wouldn't mind going back home? I can help you. You just have to ask. Hmm?
Your head. This shit fucking hurt. Dad, I've been trying to get a hold of Brianna since yesterday, and she's not responding. And I can't get a hold of Bella either. I'm sure they're okay. Just give them a little bit more time. I'm sure they'll show up soon. They've never not responded to my texts or calls. I'm really getting worried. I want to file a missing persons report. Now, honey, don't you think you're being a bit haste? Let me see. I'm losing my friends one by one, and there's a psycho killer running around town. No, I don't think I'm acting in haste. Well, we can't file a missing persons report until 24 hours have passed. Or unless you're a family member. Oh, that's right. You have to give the kidnapper a 24 hour head start. I forgot. I guess I'll give it a couple more hours. Tell you what. Why don't you call Detective Nicole Thompson? She's leading the investigation. She might have some information for you. All right. Thanks, Dad. Cameron? Is that you?
Oh my god. Oh my god. Excuse me? Who? So, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. No. It's okay. Sorry. Up okay? Hey Sandy, send that to the lab for fingerprints and anything else they can find. And tell them to put a rush on that. You got it. I mean, maybe it's just better that you move back home and forget about this house setting stuff. At least until this whole thing blows over. Yeah, let me pack my things. I just don't understand. What does he want from me? It's not you. See, he came here expecting to find Tina. He doesn't know that Tina's away. But when you chased after him... Which was a very foolish thing to do. He realized you weren't Tina and decided to split. Just think of it this way. It's kind of a mixed blessing in retrospect. You're here and you're safe. Whatever it was, my friends are still missing and no one gives a shit. Tammy! Tammy, look. I know how concerned you are about your friends. I don't blame you whatsoever. I'd feel the same way. So, if it's okay with you, James, I'd like to bring Harmony over to the apartment tomorrow to see what clues she can find. Here? Yes, here. She works best at the scene of the crime. It's certainly worth a shot. Look, Harmony is a medium. 
I, I don't know if you're familiar, but it's kind of like a psychic. She doesn't use all the gadgets, though. I mean, she helped us on missing persons case a while back. Maybe you can help her answer a few questions in regards to your friends. Sure. I want to help. Thank you. I'll pick you up before coming. We're gonna get him. We'll get him. It's so nice to have you back. Thanks, Mom. I really wish Tina would move back with us, too. <laughs> I doubt that's going to happen, Mom. She couldn't wait to get her own place. Well, it's free rent and always hot food on your plate. <laughs> Honey, I'm about to tell you something that may be long overdue. And it's something that I've never discussed with you or a sister because I didn't think it was going to affect you. And I don't know how else to tell you, so... Here goes. You, we, have a gift. A gift? Yes, it's a very special and rare gift. And I need you to listen to me with an open mind. You have the ability to channel the spirits of those who have passed. Now, you can choose to ignore them or you can choose to accept them and utilize them. The choice is up to you. Oh my God, Mom, you're telling me this just now? Honey, I swear, I thought it skipped your generation. I mean, your great grandmother had it, but your grandmother didn't have it, or at least she never told me she had it. And I have it. And now it looks like you and Tina have it. It's a very rare and powerful tool. But first you need to learn how to use it. So that's what was at camp in Tina's apartment. You know, one of the little girls from the West Side Elementary School shooting and the teacher. They appeared to me on multiple occasions and they scared the hell out of me. But I didn't tell anyone because I was scared everyone would think I was a nutcase. Well, you know, that's a common concern among us. It's such a rare power that the vast majority of people will never be able to comprehend it. Well, how do I learn how to use it? Well, that's what I want to hear. Well, mainly through practice. You have to concentrate on the spirit that you want to attract and connect with. It's easiest if it's someone that you knew personally or you've met them at some point. Mm -hmm. Now, I can connect with spirits simply by talking with their loved ones. But some other ways of doing that would be touching a picture of them or some of their belongings, like a shirt or a hat or something like that. And then when you learn to attune your frequency with theirs, they will no longer scare you. You know, Tina told me about this, but I didn't believe her. So you're saying that I can conjure up someone's spirit right here, right now? Yes, with some practice, but honey, save it for when you really need it. And I can ask them to do anything? Well, yeah, within reason. Holy shit. Tammy. I have a plan for you, Cameron. You want Tina? You're gonna get Tina.
thank you again for coming. Hi. You must be James's younger daughter, Tammy. She's good. There's definitely some very strong energy here. Definitely very strong. <clears throat> What's behind this? There's something dangerous behind this. Behind this. No, 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 no. Not, not that kind of danger. This The spirits can be of no help to us unless we ask them for help in order to establish direct communication we must know who it is we need to ask help from for you see, the spirits of the deceased are around us all, almost everywhere we go. You mean they're walking amongst us? No, not really. <clears throat> they sort of drift along their plane of existence. However, they cannot affect the world in which they once lived what we would call reality. But they can guide us through our thoughts and emotions. Have you ever given a second thought to something and then decided against it? Ever hesitated to do something? That's them. What you and, and I would call intuition or hunches. We all have it. The difference between you and me is that I have aligned myself to be in harmony with them. Very well. Shall we begin? Receiving vibrations from, <gasps> from, from what? <gasps> Two. <gasps> Three. Three. Three distinct energy sources. Are these energies always from the dead? No, no, not always. If, if two living people are simultaneously thinking of each other, then the spirits are aligned and both of them will be able to feel each other. It's an energy field, but but white energy. White energy? Pure energy. Young energy. Olivia? Olivia, if you're here, I need your help. I need to find my friends. Brianna, Bella, and Lucas are missing. 
Do you know where they are? Do you know what happened to them? Please, please help us. It's an old house in the hills somewhere with a creek nearby, but we're in the valley. Could be any one of these hills. Oh, you're all fucked. Every one of ya. <laughs> he's back and he's pissed. <laughs> Shut up and get the fuck out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'll get out of here. At least I know he ain't coming for me. Anything? No, it's just Christy requesting a meetup. Oh my god. I can't believe I didn't think of this before. What? This app we all have on our phones. A phone app? Yeah, this app called Approach Me. We all use it whenever we wanted to meet up somewhere. It tells us exactly where each other is to the others on this scope. See, Christy is in that direction, mm -hmm. and as I move closer to her, it'll tell me how close she is to me. And if her position moves, well, so does it on the scope. Hmm. Now all I have to do is set up a meetup and I'll get to know where they are. Okay. What? What's happening? Oh, there's someone. That's just Zach, see? How long does it usually take to connect? Usually within seconds, but the only thing is they have to accept my invite to connect. Hmm. So much for that. I can help you. You just have to ask. Olivia. Olivia! Olivia. Please help me. I need you now. If you can hear me or feel my vibrations, I need you to do one thing for me. Please accept my Approach Me app invite on Bella, Brianna, and Lucas's phone. Please, please do it now. <gasps> That's weird. What is? They're all coming from the same location. Mount Diablo. Okay, what the hell just happened? 
sorry. I'm fine. Are you sure? You've got to keep it together, Tammy. You're supposed to help me, not scare the shit out of me. Okay. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. No. I'll be fine. You're gonna want to make a right at the next intersection. Shouldn't you be calling for backup? I sure will. Just as soon as I find a shred of evidence, I'll have this place swarming with cops. It looks like it's right up this hill. Up there. Tammy, before we go in here, I want to make sure one thing's clear, right? You understand my job is on the line, right? I shouldn't even be bringing you here. I understand that you care about your friends and I want to help you. I just want to make sure that you're going to follow my orders from here on out. Okay. You remember how to use the radio in case of emergency? <sighs> yeah, my dad taught me how to do it. Great. You might need it. Don't freak out. But, you know, we got to cover all bases here. I understand. All right. Let's go. Put your hands behind your head and 
get on your knees. I said, put your fucking hands behind your fucking head and get on your fucking knees. Now! You see this? This is pointed directly at the back of your fucking head. I have no problem shooting you fucking now and asking questions later. I'm not gonna fire a warning shot. Do what I say. I'm gonna count to three. One. Two.
did it again. He's gone. He's gone. We have to see. No. You gotta be fucking kidding me. We have to see. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let foam. it shine, let it shine, let Damn it shine, toy. let it shine. I won't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna Are let it ready? shine. Oh, won't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine, 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 let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. It's freezing out here. Come on. Let's do this. Three, two, one. We're bringing you breaking news on the story we first reported on last week regarding the return of Santa Carla's masked killer. We have good news to report. After terrorizing this town, the suspect has been captured by a Detective Thompson of the Santa Carla Police Department. We're staying right here to bring you updates throughout the night. I am Anita Smith, reporting from San Juan for KBNC. It's a little day. Earth's joys grow timid. Glories pass away. Changes not a 